long stretch run they call Heartbreak Alley. Front runners aren't crazy about 990 feet of stretch run, but a horse that comes from off the pace just loves it. There's lots of room to make that big move and a mad charge to the finish. Horses for the Assiniboy Gold Cup are now on the racetrack, and we're minutes to post time, and with us is uh, track announcer Ken Miller. Ken, you've seen uh, a lot of horses around here this summer. You're familiar with the uh, Winnipeg horses in particular. Maybe you can assess the race for us. Well, before I do that, Larry, I must say that this is probably the strongest handicap division we've here, had here in Winnipeg in the last few years. Uh, it shapes up to be probably the horse race of the year here in Winnipeg. Uh, proven reserve, Manitoba's champion the last two years in a row as a two-year-old and as a three-year-old. Uh, I believe he's going to try and go to the front as he does in most of his races. I'll tell you, they better send someone after him because when this horse gets on the front end and he's allowed to relax, he's awful tough to get by in the stretch. He broke the track record here, uh, took three-fifths off the track record at seven furlongs. He came back and won his last race when he got to the front by himself. Now, that is the big key. If he can get to the front by himself, it'll be tough to catch. I think Eric Hannes looks like the one that's going to have to go out and push him. Does it look like a situation to you where we might get a speed duel on the front end, and it kind of sets it up for a lot of horses that like to come from off the pace because there are some very notable horses like Rapido Dom and Silver Sizzle and that kind of company that uh, might make the mad charge down that 990 feet? Well, that's certainly true, Larry. If the speed is stopping, there's a lot of horses in the race that look to come from off the pace. You mentioned Rapido Dom, Silver Sizzle. Silver, S Silver Sizzle has had one race here. He finished third in last year's Manitoba Derby behind Camp Out and Proven Reserve. He'll like the long stretch. Rapido Dom came from way back in the field to capture the Westerner, I believe, which was out in Edmonton, so he'll like it too. Uh, there's Chilcote and Blaze here. Chilcote and Blaze won the free press earlier in the year. He's a proven stretch runner, and he could t beat them all at any time. What about jockeys? Because there's a notable jockey change today. Jerry Kipling, a veteran rider, is going to ride Silver Sizzle. He's familiar with this track, and is that a factor as far as the race is concerned? Well, I, I would have to think it is. It's the home field advantage. You know, Jerry knows this racetrack. He knows the turns. He knows where he wants to be, possibly coming out, uh, you know, uh, into the stretch, and I would have to think that would help, sure. Well, it's time for that prediction. Uh, who do you who do you like for the Assiniboy Gold Cup? Well, I, in my heart, I got to go with Buck Domino. He's trying for his third straight win. That could be the story here. But who I think is going to win the race? I think Proven Reserve is going to go to the front and never look back. Well, we shall soon see because it's that kind of race. It might be a speed duel. It might not. It might be a situation where a hard charge to the finish. Uh, certainly, uh, that is the case a lot of times at Assiniboy Downs, and uh, we will find out uh, in just a few minutes' time. <laughs> 